Hey everybody, it's me, Megs, and I'm back with another video. This is actually my relax update, y'all. I'm super excited about this new hair journey. So if you are not familiar, I always have to say this, because some people may not know. So I did return back to relaxing my hair back in December 2019. So I've been relaxed now for a little while, but I actually started a consistent hair journey routine, really being consistent in 2021 when I got my first haircut in March 2021 and that was when I chopped my hair into a bob and I feel like that was the best decision I have ever made as far as this current hair journey goes because my current goals were to really retain length and keep my ends really nice and intact and so far everything has been really going well so if you're up to date on my channel you did see that I did do another really big chop <laughs> back in October 2021 and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to enjoy my bob a lot longer because I noticed when I had initially got the first bob cut back in March 2021 it was grown out by May okay so I chopped it one more time in October and this is actually where we are right now I'm all the way back to hovering around my shoulders because that cut I got in um, October was my hair was really short I think that's the shortest I have ever had my hair ever being relaxed so I am really happy and excited about how it's growing out because my current goal is to have my hair retain length and grow out nice and even and have my ends be nice and thick okay because in the past just judging from my old relaxed updates and hair care videos that i was doing i actually noticed what i was doing wrong back then um i was able to retain length back in the day because i had initially started my very first relaxed hair journey in general in 2008 and I was able to reach kind of like past mid back length but I always would have a hole right in the middle of my hair and I discovered what the problem was um, so the problem was back then I kept splitting my hair I kept splitting my hair in the middle just splitting it down the middle and having my hair just rest in the middle all the time and I noticed that I kept putting my buns and protective styles kind of like in the same area so I stopped doing that and I've been able to retain length without having any issues with my ends so I have been doing the baggy method and protective styling of buns but I'm switching up the placement of my buns and things like that just keeping it really nice low maintenance I'm not in my hair too often and um, this is actually probably the most that I've actually worn my hair down um, within my whole new hair journey from 2021. So I did do a roller set with my hair and I love it. I am loving how my hair is looking. Roller sets are for me. I haven't done a roller set in years. So I'm really loving how this came out because I do wanna enjoy my hair a bit more. Um, my hair has grown quite, quite a bit and I wasn't afraid to cut my hair. I think that's something that a lot of people don't understand about me that I'm not really, afraid of some scissors I'll, I'll cut my hair <laughs> and I have I've done it three times <laughs> moving forward I am gonna allow my hair to grow out I'm just gonna do some dustings and trim so I am actually due for a trim with Micah again and I'm probably gonna do that sometime next week but honestly I kind of <laughs> it looks like I don't really need it um, I looked at my ends and everything is pretty much still on point everything is really full still like girl like I feel like this is the best my hair has ever looked as far as neatness goes um, of course my hair isn't as long as it was but that's not something that is a concern of mine because this go around I'm more concerned with how does your hair look as a whole does it look neat does it look healthy because I, I, I can achieve length we all know that but what does it look like does it look clean does it look crispy does it look healthy so that's been my goal and I am really happy with my hair right now so let me go ahead and show y'all my length so far so I guess we can say this is my starting point um, for my new hair journey as far as retaining length um, this is where I'm at now I guess can you say this is around I guess my hair is like really starting to touch my shoulders because the back is starting to do that weird flippy thing so I'm at an awkward <laughs> an awkward length right here but this is where we are in the front because in October my hair was actually like right here so it has grown a lot girl like a lot let me move this pillow so y'all can really see 
got to move my pillows around. And this is the side, and as you can see, the ends are really full. Nothing is see-through here. Very full. Like, very full, very full. We're really, really happy with my progress. So it's touching right around my neck. Yeah, so it's actually touching my neck here. So, I'm, girl, I'm so excited to grow my hair back out. <laughs> And this is the back. I'm really satisfied with how my hair is looking. My ends are nice and full. Everything is just going really, really well. And I'm really loving this roller set because it's giving my hair a lot of body, a lot of movement. So I'm loving it. So, okay, y'all. So that is about it for this relax update. If you're interested in the routine that I've been doing, that will actually be linked down in the description and also pinned in the comment area. And I will be doing a follow-up video about products. So that may be uploaded before or after this. So if you do have any questions, feel free to ask me. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.